13th of the 6th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Oh, where to begin, where to begin? Ernie Gunderson put out another video today uh, over Fukushima and the fallout and the effects of the fallout and these minute little particles that they can't detect. They're called uh, hot particles or whatever that people have been breathing in in small doses um, since the disaster began. And he's also reporting, TEPCO is reporting the, the radiation levels are way bigger than they ever admitted before. And uh, I will definitely attach that video below. Um, Caught F Town's blog TV today, or uh, Sunday night. And uh, very eye-opening things going on in the Middle East, in Syria, uh, to do with China, Russia, the United States, and... Uh, all the distractions and um, upheavals that are going on along with the economy here in the United States and the rest of the world. So uh, the pot is definitely being stirred to say the least. Um, and again that's not usually my cup of tea so um, I was just glad to see everybody out there. And uh, Thanks F-Town, I really appreciate your work brother. We're going to start with Earth's Changes, um, Scott.net tonight. Wallow Fire, now likely to become Arizona's biggest fire ever. Authorities say a raging, a raging wildfire that could become the largest in Arizona history is now 5% contained after charging, charring more than 38,600 acres and destroying 22 homes in uh, Greer. And again, they're talking that this fire is now moving into New Mexico. Uh, of course, we've got fires um, spouting off in Colorado. And this is the ongoing severe drought and uh, extreme temperatures that have been hitting our American Southwest and uh, Mexico uh, pretty much all season. Ongoing. And uh, we finally caught a break here in Iowa. It's, it's actually pleasant here. Um, Ethiopia. Earthquake magnitude 5.1 and 9 subsequent large aftershocks. Um, on the extinction protocol, they have um, reports of actually satellite photos of the of an outgassing. Uh, basically, um, I'm calling a volcano. We have a large volcano erupting in Ethiopia. Um, again, on extinction protocol, they've got a story with uh, actual ash plumes shown by satellite. Um, to coincide with the earthquakes. <clears throat> Wildfires more rampant in Russia in 2011 spread over east. Now you remember last summer uh, Russia had all these extreme fires, um, historic levels, and it's pretty much destroyed a lot of their cropland to the point where they weren't exporting wheat anymore. Uh, Russia reported 186 wildfires burning in forests and peat bogs on Sunday covering an area more than three times the size of that for the same period last year. So they're in line for a, a fire season three times as worse as they had last year. And if we all remember, uh, throughout the madness that has happened between now and last summer, uh, just how extreme Russia fires were. Solomon Islands, dead fish found floating in a lagoon. People in center, uh, Moravo Lagoon in West have baffled over the sightings of dead fish floating in the lagoon since the weekend. Uh, apparently they spotted large schools of fish dead and um, some of the locals are saying that um, somebody that's developing one of the outer islands for tourism who married a local is, might be the one to cause all this but uh, of course it's unknown and they're looking into it. Um, We've got a story about uh, satellite images compared before and after shots of the Massachusetts tornado. Australian, New Zealand flights disrupted by Chilean volcanic eruption. And again, this isn't just a volcano going off in Chile. This is a fissure six miles long, three miles wide, uh, that split open in the Andes in between two former volcanoes. So this is a whole new deal. Uh, it's pushing just incredible amounts of ash into the air. 
um, totally being underplayed in the media and definitely a climate changer. Now we got another one going off in Ethiopia, so we have two major volcanoes erupting in the southern hemisphere, and they're in their winter, so we'll see. And we already got snow in Africa, where it's normally desert heated plains, so uh, weather's already crazy in the southern hemisphere. Uh, my Australian and New Zealand uh, subscribers uh, definitely look out. I know I do have some South Africans and some South Americans as well. Um, you're in for it for sure. Uh, Chilean volcano eruption dwarfs uh, Evagicule, uh that's the Icelandic t um, eruption of 2010 and again they are definitely shutting down um, it's interrupting air flights in Australia and New Zealand already uh, this ash is being tracked pretty much around the southern hemisphere. Heavy rain, melting snow caused devastating floods across Norway. Uh, it's washing away homes and roads. Uh, they are not exempt from what's going on. Um, as far as torrential rains combined with melting snows have caused devastating floods across central Norway, washing away several houses and the roads and causing landslides. I've also seen reports of flooding in Germany. Um, where was that? Romania? Yeah, Romania is reporting flash floods on the RSOE, so there's a lot of flooding going on in Europe. Uh, they are not exempt from the, the heavy rains and uh, climate changes as well. So uh, Arizona burns, uh, and they're saying, of course, it's the, the historic blaze, the biggest one they've had um, since we've been keeping records here in the southwest. Over to the extinction protocol. Hold on, I'm going to let the cat in. Christchurch, New Zealand, double 6.0 and 5.5 magnitude quake shakes Christchurch, New Zealand, so they are not out of the line sites at all. These uh, poor people are, are uh, definitely getting their share of what's going on in the world, and uh, my heart goes out to them. June 13th, Christchurch, New Zealand, a 6.0 and a 5.5 magnitude quake has been reported right outside Christchurch. Uh, the 5.5 struck at 1 and 10 kilometers east of Christchurch at Taylor's Mistake Beach at a depth of 11 kilometers and sent people scrambling for cover. Uh, and it looks like um, some more buildings collapsed and roads and all the things that we've seen before. Um, again, they, they're, they're still tearing down buildings from the last big one. And uh, this is the last thing they need is more extensive quakes. Uh, here's the story. Has violent Ethiopian earthquake swarm triggered yet another planetary eruption? And uh, this is the satellite photo of the, the ash cloud coming out of Ethiopia for this uh, earthquake activity and uh, looks like a big volcano going off, really. And their story, uh, the latest satellite images over East Africa shows a giant plume appears to be coming from the region of the earthquake swarm. Stay tuned for verification. I'm going to go ahead and call it now. There's a big volcano going off in Ethiopia right now. Uh, 90,000 people still homeless in Japan after March earthquake and tsunami. Uh, it's just a national emergency, and, and again, the radiation counts completely out of whack from what they're telling everybody um, all the way over here into the United States of America. And we got people like Dutch Sense and other people taking radioactive uh, readings, <clears throat> and uh, Dutch is over on the West Coast right now, and uh, he's taking some pretty uh, eye-opening videos if you want to sit through and watch him actually do the 10-minute um, test. And... Uh, He's on the road, and i got to give him kudos for that. Uh, June 12, 2011, Japan National Police Agency said on Saturday that over 90,000 people remain displaced in Japan as a result from the twin disasters in March. The agency put the quake and tsunami death toll at more than 15,000 people, while 8,000 others are still missing as a result of the double catastrophe. Uh... They plan on building a total of 52,000 temporary homes for the evacuees, but only about 28,000 of the homes have been completed. 
And many of the evacuees have declined to move into temporary housing, citing insufficient support services compared to those at shelters. One of the reasons for the slow progress has been the massive amount of debris that needs to be cleared in the disaster hit area. And you remember their entire east coast is just devastated uh, from the north all the way down there. Just in all kinds of crazy trouble that nobody's reporting um, on the big scale in Japan. And exceptionally long lunar eclipse will not appear again for seven years. Uh, June 12th, this month's full moon will pass almost directly th through the center of Earth's shadow on June 15th in what will be unusually long total eclipse of the moon. The lunar eclipse will occur just two weeks after June 1, partial solar eclipse when the moon blocked part of the sun as viewed from the Arctic regions. And so we've got an exceptionally long lunar eclipse uh, going on right now. Fish kill in New Georgia Islands Lagoon baffle local authorities. And again, that's the, the Solomon Island fish story. <clears throat> uh, triggers to Armageddon. Conflict tension points around the world increasing. Now, this is a story they put out over um, basically what F Towns uh, blog TV uh, last night put out um, Russia's voicing concern about a U.S. warship now just offshore in the Black Sea. Uh, the guided missile cruiser uh, USS Monterey, um, blah, 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 they're taking offense to that. Um, China's flexing its muscles uh, as far as their naval power and uh, Vietnam, and Vietnam's asked for help, and the Philippines, <clears throat> and uh, there's all kinds of crazy things going on in Syria and Libya and in Iran, and Iraq, and Afghanistan, and Pakistan. Oh my God, it's just a lot of things going on right now, and uh, it's definitely um, something we all need to pay attention to. On top of everything else, right? Um, the Norway floods and trail of volcanic glass gas seen by infrared satellite imagery, and this is the Chile um, volcanic eruption. And um, they're saying they're tracking the volcanic gases uh, off in through the Atlantic Ocean and around the world, of course. Uh, the RSOE is kind of lame today. Uh, of course, there are um, the biological hazard um, in Joplin, Missouri, um, where they've actually taken the icon off the map, and you can't really tell what's going on as far as their updated report. Uh, the Chilean volcanic activity, the forest fires in Arizona, and the E. coli um, European epidemic that is still ongoing. So that's about all I have for you today, and uh, 13 minutes, that's probably long enough. Uh, enjoy what you can. Um, thanks, everybody.